At the top of the page, the directions say to simplify. And if you recall from the notes from last class, anytime there's an x squared in the denominator, because I need to get common denominators in order to add or subtract fractions, we need to factor. So this factor is x plus 7, x minus 4. And you can see they have the x plus 7 in common, so I want to multiply this fraction on the right by x minus 4, both the numerator and denominator, so I can keep the fractions equivalent. And we're going to end up with x squared minus 4x over x minus 4, x plus 7, plus the 11x, again, x minus 4, x plus 7. When you add negative 4x and 11x, you get x squared plus 7x. So x minus 4, x plus 7. There's a GCF of x, so I want to factor that out, which allows me to cancel those common factors. And we're left with x over x minus 4. Number 2, both denominators have the x squared. So I'm going to multiply, or factor rather, x plus 2 times x minus 2, that's dots. This is x plus 2 times x plus 3. They have the x plus 2 in common, so I need to multiply. The right doesn't have the x minus 2, so I need to multiply by x minus 2. The left side doesn't have the x plus 3, so I need to multiply by the x plus 3. So I'm going to focus, as I did in the notes last class, just on the numerators for a moment, because if you notice, we just keep copying down the numerator, or the denominator, rather, until the very end. So 3 times x plus 3 is 3x plus 9 over my denominator, minus 2x minus 4 over the denominator. So this is going to change the signs to negative 2x plus 4, and we end up with 3x minus 2xx, 9 plus 4 is 13, all over x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. And since the x plus 13 is not a factor of the denominator, we can't do any canceling, so that's the final answer. Now for the quiz review. Quiz review is going to go over multiplication division and adding and subtracting with like. You will not see any fractions um, where I ask you to add or subtract with unlike denominators. So let's first review how to multiply and divide. Okay, to multiply, we first simplify. So I'm going to go ahead and factor everything because to simplify, we factor and cancel. So GCF of 12, so 12 times x plus 4 will give me 12x plus 48. GCF of 3, so 3 times 2x minus 5. No GCF, 4 doesn't go into 25. This is the difference of two perfect squares, 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. And then the factors of 20 that combine to 9 are x plus 5 and x plus 4. The restrictions, again restrictions, so I have the not equal to rather than equal to, all deal with the denominator. So restriction would be negative 4 for that one, negative 5 for this one. And the first one might be hard to see, so you might want to Bring this off to the side, set it equal to 0, add 5, you get 2x equals 5, divide by 2, and it's 5 halves. Now, to start canceling. Okay, to simplify, we factor, cancel, I can cancel a 2x minus 5 with a 2x minus 5, x plus 4 with an x plus 4, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. So now multiplying straight across. We've got 4 times 2x plus 5 over x plus 5. It's going to be our answer. And number 4, okay, we're going to simplify again. So I'm going to go through and factor everything. 
Factors of 6 that combine to 1 are 3 and 2. Factors of 15 that combine to 2 are 5 and 3. Dots. So x plus 5 times x minus 5. And the factors of 5 that combine to 4 are 5 and 1. Division. Change and then flip. So this is going to go up top. That's x plus 1 times x minus 1. And the factors of 6 that combine to 5 on the bottom are x plus 2, x plus 3. Uh, you can see I took off the restrictions for a question like number 4. Um, but going across, again, we'd have to look here and then both of these because we did the flip. But there's too many. So without doing the restrictions, now I can just start canceling my common factors out. Let's do an x plus 5 and an x plus 5, x minus 3, x minus 3, x minus 5, x minus 5, x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 1, and we're left with x minus 1 over x plus 3. Now on to addition and subtraction with a like denominator. So number 5, when the denominators are like, the first thing you want to do is copy down your denominator. So this would be 3x minus 6. And then subtract. Because you can't take away 4 from x squared, I write x squared minus 4. Now, that answer would get you credit, but it wouldn't get you full credit because you need to simplify, which means to factor GCF of 3. This is dots. And then cancel. But before you cancel, you might want to look at your factors and then denominator so you can determine the restriction of 2. Cancel, cancel. Final, final answer is going to be x plus 2 over 3. And then in number 6, they're so close to being like. Okay? This is the negative 1 rule because they're both, the expressions and the denominators are both subtraction problem, but in different order. Remember we said to switch it, we change this to minus, and we change this to match the one on the left, x minus 8. So now I have x squared minus 64 all over x minus 8. And x minus 8, the restriction would be 8. If x was 8, then I'd have 8 minus 8, 0. We don't want that to happen. But we factor, this is dots, x plus 8 times x minus 8, cancel, and final answer is going to be x plus 8.